Did you know the gourd is a cousin to the pumpkin and squash? And they are actually edible. But that's not why Jai Sharonda is so fond of the vegetable. You see, he's an artist who found his creative calling growing in the ground of Woodbury, Tennessee. I'm attached to a, a, I, I like them. I mean, I think that's the whole point. You know you're a, an artist when you like what you make. Jai Sharonda has been an artist for most of his life. The walls of his cozy studio on Short Mountain are lined with a lifetime of drawings, paintings, and sculptures of all shapes and sizes. But the media that has Jai the most enthusiastic these days is... I love you, Gord. You guessed it. Gourds, gourds, gourdings, gourd, gourds, gorgeous. Gourdism, it's an ism that I sort of embrace. I don't know what it is about gourds that have connected me to some kind of an ism, but I've never stopped gourding since I started, really. I just was drawn to it. You know, when I was 40 years old and someone said, you're gonna be making gourd lamps when you're 60, I'd like, what? See, when I first started, doing gourds. A friend had grown all these gourds and they looked horrible because when gourds dry they get covered in mold and they don't look like anything and so I washed it and there's this beautiful thing underneath the skin and, and I was like so impressed with how pretty the grain looked and I sort of cut off the top and I was like oh my gosh I made a vessel <laughs> and uh, I sort of set it on the counter and like somebody came in and said how much is that? <laughs> it's like. I don't know. And I sold it like that day and I was like, you know, this is how I can make my fortune on with gourds. <laughs> while Jai was content making gourd vessels and sculptures for a while, his art took an unexpected turn during a trip to New Orleans. You might say it was a trip that set him on his path to enlightenment. I just love going into old junk shops and finding old lamps. And I started building lamps because I think each lamp is a sculpture, really. And then, like eight years ago, somebody gave me some glass, stained glass, and they said, I thought maybe you could use it in. But putting the glass in the gourd was very strange for me, because it was a flat surface. Glass is flat on a, there's nothing flat about a gourd. And then somebody gave me a grinder, a glass grinder. And suddenly, like, my world changed, because I could take a piece of glass with sharp edges, and you know, just grind it down and work away at the imperfections. And you'll, you'll think that the glass grew in the gourd. It's not hard to imagine these beautiful pieces of glass grew in his gourds. Each piece is so perfectly fitted. But even this seasoned gourdist hasn't managed to cultivate that crop yet. It's been said that gourds thrive on neglect. Many growers plant them and forget them. That's not the case with Jai. He visits his gourds daily. Plants are a big interest to me. I love, um, I love to garden. I grow gourds, but they're usually in a field, and this was just fun. I was able to really study it. Ready? Yep. Wow, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the bottom look like? Oh, it's, it's all right. beautiful. It looks like an apple almost, you know? The, the Cannon County Arts Center in Woodbury is where I first started showing my lamps. So I've, uh, I've done shows there f uh, every like, couple years. For the, I've had like three big shows there in the last six years. And they always have some of my lamps at the, in the gift shop there. And at the Short Mountain Distillery, which is just around the corner, um, there's a new restaurant there. Well, it's a couple years old. It's called the Still House Restaurant. And, and there's a place there that shows off my lamps very nicely. There's uh, nine of them up over the bar, and it's kind of very hard to miss them. Every gourd has a story. This one I did when I had a close friend pass away a couple years ago. I call it In Memoriam. This is Eye of the Spiral. Somebody wrote to me on Facebook, said my titles were like poetry. And I thought that was such a nice thing to say, because I spent a lot of time thinking about the titles, and. To me, it, it, you know, it, it sort of sum up what I thought about during the, the process. Because, you know, these lamps with the top and, you know, bottom, they'll take, you know, three weeks. Jai, tell me about this lamp here. Well, my friend is a, a, a bee 
keeper and he keeps hives here on the land and I I've I had done bees before but I wanted to try to make a bee that was a little bit more and you know, like bee like so and I had been working with hexagons and I liked the pattern so I thought I'd do one called honeycomb and I put bees on it and I thought they were really, you know they're different they're bees in flight kind of and it just felt very I don't know celebratory of the bee and when I leave this light on at night, the gold kind of hue that it gives out, it's just like honeycomb. The color is just very gold, which is kind of unusual. Art is kind of a spirituality. It's like how you become a better person. You know, like I feel like it connects me to my higher self somehow and like directs me. And I, I've used the word magic a lot. I don't really know what that means, but I feel like there's magic in my gourds. Magic that shines a light on everyone that sees his gourd just lamps. And every time I make a lamp, I'm thinking, is this what I want to do? Is this what I want to put on? And you know, the answer is pretty much yes. 